Hi everyone, this is Gemma. Hi, I'm Emily. Uh, welcome. Uh, it's been a little while. We thought we'd Facebook Live together. We've been doing um, YouTube channels. We've started a show showcasing our young livings, our passion, our oils. Um, and there's two we're going to showcase today. And it's kind of a bit of a mix. We're kind of evolving with it, but we're calling it the um, Gem and M show. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Never how how are you, Em? I'm good. Good. I'm good. So we'll talk to Em in a minute. So we're just like concentrating on the camera. Um, we're going. So basically, we're showcasing essential oils and um, how they can work practically. Em's a Virgo, so Casp Virgo with some fire as well, mm -hmm. some yep. Leo. Leo, and I'm a Casp Pisces with some Aries, mm -hmm. fire as well, water. So we kind of come from a practical and an enlightening manner. We're both holistic wellness coaching I did a mediumship M's got children's comes from perspective of also a mum as well so kind of mix it up so um, I hope this video gets to you guys and you can have a look we've got some practical tips but then and M's gonna she know from an education point with the oils and also the other range ranges that young livings um, have other things as well um, be it savvy makeup, be it house products, house products, cleaning products. Yep. Thieves is the best. Yep. So you, will, you will start to enjoy cleaning your shower. Can you believe that? <laughs> Who enjoys cleaning their shower, right? So it is a full moon in Taurus. Taurus is very pragmatic, very earth. And um, the flavour of the energy, I'm a, I download because I am a, um, a medium. So... Um, the flavour of the energy right now coming from a perspective of astro and energy and whatever is um, relationships, love, that's always yourself and others and change. And at the moment, because there's a lot going on with um, Saturn and Uranus, and the best way to explain that from a spiritual healer perspective is Uranus is about change. Mm -hmm. So it rules Aquarius, Aquarians, Aquarians. I've got an Aquarius rising. And Oprah is an Aquarian and Allen's. It's all about out and coming mm -hmm. back in. and But it's about change. But it can be very on and off. So it's kind of really going into that and stabilising that change. Mm -hmm. Not just, I'm going to do it and then you change your mind. Mm -hmm. right? And Saturn is the um, rules and regulations, doing the right thing, following law and order. <laughs> right? And, you know, it's very good for str uh, strategies, people that are coaches, strategies and rules and regulations and systems. But... Uh, it also connects to teeth and um, connects to, uh, for me, the TMJ joint. And I've had a lot of problems. I'm a clencher. So I release my anxiety at night. I feel good. But it, when I sleep, mm, I'm a clencher yeah, too. and mm. you'll see even children and adults. So mm. the, the oils we're show, showcasing today are connected to, um, I have been shown and we both decided we're going to do the mints today, the spearmints, the peppermints. Mm. And they're also good for emotions. People drink peppermint tea, and, you know, green tea. And remember, everything comes from the stomach, from our emotions. Mm. We have an emotion, and then we choose how we feel about that emotion. So someone annoys us, so I'm pissed off, right? There's anger. But do I want to hold on to that? Or what feeling? No, you know what? I want to feel joy. I want to learn the lesson. I want to feel wisdom out of that. Mm. So I decide to be wise with it. Or I decide to be whatever with it, calm. Go into my inner zen before I punch him in the face. <laughs> kind of situation, right? <laughs> Remember, we are European as well. We're gonna we're gonna bring the passion in, right? Uh, people, have, we've lost that. And I was talking to someone this morning online um, about that people have lost love. People are craving a touch and love and hugs. Mm. You know, I was always criticised growing up that I was too touchy feely and huggy. And guess what? We need that in the world, right? Mm. So that's what we're showcasing today. Um, I'll just make sure we're live in here. It says live. It says live. So we're just going to keep going with it. <laughs> and, we, and we hope that it's live. It's not, um, yes, we are live. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're in Queensland, so we're an hour, hour behind, right? Oh, okay, so how are you, Em? Are you well? Um, yeah, I'm good. It's What's been happening? Sunshine. Yeah. So we haven't been on for the last couple of weeks. Is why I said, Em, what's been happening? And she looks at me because we've still been in touch. <laughs> we, we've just finished the declutter challenge. Um, eight days, eight hours or whatever you could do. 
and um, so that's why we've kind of left it go. Plus, I lost internet for three days, which is a big thing when you run a business. Yeah. And I'm about to go to Melbourne next week, so we'll be back mid November as well. So, how how are things? How are the kids? The kids are good. Yeah, the kids yeah. are good. So yeah. Em's got um, Sammy, who's two, two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to bring him in to the show one That's day. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're going to bring him in. Yeah, he's like he a little it. superstar. Yeah, he loves it. Blonde hair, blue eyes. He's a mm. real spunk. And then we've got Mia, who I actually haven't met yet, but connected with already on a conscious level or consciousness. Yeah. And Mia is? Six. Grade one? Six. Almost. Almost. Next year. So Next year. Uh, all, those of you that have got little kids, M can really resonate with you. Mm -hmm. And we'll leave our links and she's going to start doing her own little... Um, videos as well, connecting to where she comes from, or where mm. M, M, I want to say she too much, it's very cat. <laughs> um, and I come from a place of, I've been a carer all my life, and I lost my mum when I was a little girl, that's my story. So we both really are service to others, and we don't really like doing this, although um, it looks like I do, but it's not something <laughs> we resonate with straight away, but something we've both been called to do. Yeah. Yeah? And, um, beyond the fear. But beyond yeah. the fear. Fe fear, fear change it to faith. Yeah. So on that, I'm going to start with the messages today, and then we're going to showcase the oils. We've got little practical tips of, of um, for you today. All right. Might be things you know. I was told to do something from my yoga instructor the other day. I had a kinesiology, and it was something I've, I used to do, but I forgot. Mm. And when she said you need to do it, and I'm going to talk about it today, I'm going to surprise you, stay on. Um, I went, oh, okay, so it might be something you used to do and you've got to bring back in or you've been told about and you haven't done it yet, right? And, oh, can I add oils to that? Oh, can I use that oil for that? I didn't know that. Yeah? All right, so we're going to start with the messages today. And... Good. Excellent. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Hello. All right, so we've got the messages. These are angelic messenger cards. cards. Yeah. yeah, we're going to work with Flat Spring <laughs> in Australia. We're going to work with the flower energy and clearing, um, with the moon clearing, you know, flower essences and people use bark essences and Australian mm. bush essences and oils are all about the earth. And it's the vibration of under the earth, the one and two, mm. which is the plant, vegetation and crystals. Okay, and then we've got earth. So in theta and prana, it's one, two, then three. Three is the earth vibration, mm. okay? So I um, will do M first, but she picked first, so M's can talk about hers. And just what it means for you, hun, not putting you on the spot, whatever. Awareness. So, yeah, oh what does gosh. awareness mean for you? Or what are you feeling mm. awareness could mean for others at the moment with the full moon in Taurus slash awareness Scorpio? Awareness of um, lack of patience. When the full moon hits, you know, if, and we've got a couple, couple of dogs, got a couple of dogs as well. So you've yeah. got the dogs, you've got the kids. The energy yeah. is just a little bit heightened. Yes. So just that awareness of just going, it's okay. Just take a breath. Yeah. And calm down. Yeah, we love using the oils in that way with the around the kids. We just put a couple of yeah. drops in the diffuser. My favourite blend. I mean, how many of us when we put a candle and you know we put yes. oils and zen, mm. you know, just to. So what happens with the full moon? People don't sleep. People are more awake. They're more ready. And children, they're more open. Their spiritual eyes are open more. That's what they've been calling into bed with us. Yeah, the last so few they're nights. more aware. And dogs, dogs see light, mm. and they see what we call the spirit energy. Now, you know, it's not about freaking you out. They have senses. Dogs heal us. They mm. work with our energy. I work with a lot of clients, and on Skype, and their dogs are in the the, the session. They come in, <laughs> you know. Wow. Yeah. So just remember that. And that's why they'll start howling, like the wolf oh. to the moon. Yeah. yeah? yeah. You know, Definitely and changed. we do have um, the full moon does can bring if you believe the spirit doesn't die and you've lost someone that's connected to you. My mum and dad always come through on a full moon. Our oh. loved ones can show up in doing a lot more medium readings and with um, loved ones that have crossed over, they might have a message. Usually it's I'm here with you, I'm hearing you, I'm you know, mm. you're praying to me or you're asking or you know, yeah. it's usually just a, a message of um, stability and love mm. and reassurance. It's okay. Yeah, so remember that mm. because um, we've got a new moon coming, but it's in Scorpio. And Scorpio is very intense. And my dad's birthday is on Saturday. He's a October Scorpio. He's mm. got a bit of that Libra. But Scorpio is a very, it's great. I get along with Scorpios, mm. you know, the we yins, but it's very intense. Mm. And it rules transformation. It rules 
um, the tower. So unexpected, all of a sudden you might have an argument with someone or something might happen mm. or you get a phone call or something breaks or the vacuum cleaner goes or something. <laughs> That's probably we're about to get a new vacuum cleaner. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> Mer- break. and Mercury goes uh, goes backward in a couple of weeks. So Mercury rules appliances and um, electrics and get ready, passwords, check your passwords, um, a backup. You know, I lost my, I always fill it before, so I lost my internet for three days. It never happened to me. I've already had online a woman in on, on in Queensland, her vacuum cleaner went, M mm-hmm. saying her vacuum cleaner. <laughs> That's <laughs> what's happening. It's getting us ready now wow. for Christmas and the new year. Remember Christmas, December, silly season. Two months. You see family you haven't seen. Guess what happens? People punch on, right? I've had family that have in Melbourne. Yeah, you know. I actually had, the, it's a little funny story now, but it happened a while ago. I had a client that came and said to me years ago, he said, um, I ended up getting punched in the face. I said, are you all right, what happened? He goes, yeah, my neighbors were arguing. It was, I think a week or two weeks before Christmas. He said, and the two brothers were arguing and the mother got in the middle. And you know, Italians get very passionate, start moving their arms around. And the mother, to break the argument up, she got punched in the, hang, hang, hang on, no. So she got punched in the face, not, not my client. He broke the fight, Let's see, it was years ago. It's tough to remember. But I'm pretty sure they punched the mother in the face. So remember, Christmas, December, Melbourne's hot, heat, um, mm. heat, humidity, Melbourne very dry. Up here we have a lot of humidity in Queensland mm. and it makes people go a bit ready. Okay? <laughs> yes, and even your animals, make sure everyone's really dehydrated. Yeah. Make sure everyone's really hydrated. Are dehydrated? Like well, that? You can actually put, because we're talking about oil. Yes, yeah, so Em's going to start talking you about the oils. You can use some peppermint to cool yeah. you down. Yeah, so peppermint's very cooling, right? Mm. Yeah, so, so I'm going to show you my favourite little trick, yeah, which I so just did before. Excellent. Do you get peppermint? Yep. Do you want to try it? Yep. Have you done this before? Yeah, I have. But not with you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, on the tongue, I haven't done that. Tongue? On the tongue, just go for it. But I have stuck it up on the roof of my mouth. Mm. And peppermint's very strong, right? So if you can handle it good, if not, drink some water. I'll Another good thing. Coconut oil. Yeah, and I don't mind if you put your finger in there. Yeah, coconut oil. Mm. So it's great to just put a drop in water. I've just got an organic one. Beautiful. Organic, extra virgin mm. coconut oil. Now we're co- showcasing oh, peppermint, oh. young livings. And this is great for guys love this oil as well. Because you just do, if you need that, pick me up. And any tired mummies out there or anyone yeah. tired. It doesn't have to be wrong. So in males, especially if they're tradies or the type of work they do or they mm. work in computers and need to be uplifted. Just and mum's energy, right? Yeah, I need a lot of energy because I'm an energy worker. So I need a lot of energy. People come to me for my vibration, for vibe, okay? Yeah. So even in your work as well. You mm. might be in an industry where you need to always be, you're a manager and you've got a team and yeah. Sure. So the other one we're gonna is showcase is spearmint. So those of you that are into organic t- toothpaste or don't wanna use a toothpaste, a lot of them have this, but we don't know how much it breaks down, how pure it is. So you can make up your own. Young Living's has a, a mouthwash and a toothpaste mm. that I'm just about to receive the mouthwash. Mm. And um, apparently it's awesome, it's right? Awesome. Yeah. I get a lot of yeah. gum problems and inflammation and teeth. And at the moment it's rampant. Mm. I can't tell you a lot of my clients as well. Yeah. So um, oral health is such a key factor to have it just being healthy overall of your body. Yeah, and remember what I'm saying, oral health of blood, our blood, so Mm. cleaning our blood. And Mm. a lot of people that have um, uh, problems and health issues, it goes back to the blood. So another one is frankincense. We've been talking about that. Mm. Um, In America, it happens a lot, American, and I I suggest it. it I I put frankincense on the roof of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I feel it cleanses the grounds, clears me, and it cleanses me. And it's, they say it vibrates and helps with health. So mm. that's what's been said. So we're not endorsing it will heal you. We're mm. endorsing that it'll help. Mm. It's a product in your bag that you could use mm. to help you. They're all, it's all, they're all tools. Mm. Okay? Yeah. 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 Um, it pops them around the eyes to help with the wrinkles. Yeah. And um, <laughs> yes, so for us, they're getting old. I'm 50 next year. And I pop a little bit of... Um, I'll put some coconut oil, a bit of almond oil, or you can put a bit of water or carrier oil. You don't mm. have to put it, um, it can be a bit strong, but some people can. Put it on your hairline, it's a good mm. way to do it as well. Yeah. And the back of your, the back. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah where the, that's where we um. So we have a lot going on with the nervous system there, erector spina, our occiput, our cranial, and it's where we get attacked or need to be protected or clear the past. Mm. Okay, so just healthy tips there. Anything else you want to share? Does that all sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. So when Em's talking about putting the oils on your hand, another point where Em went to where she actually vibrated then with her tongue, that's a headache point we know peppermint and mint's good for headache but that's a headache point right there mm -hmm. and the other one is behind the ankle the achilles or molasses so mm. you'll feel the bone so use the oils you know before mm. you go to bed or in the morning or in your children and just mix mm. them to start if you haven't used them mix them with a bit of coconut oil mm. then if you want to be a bit more brave or you've been using them and your energy vibrates, then you can go straight on. Mm. All right, test yep. and validate. Yes, especially with the, with the um, mint Mint, oils. yeah, very, yeah, very yeah, strong. yeah. And there's another one that's really strong too. I think, is it Clary, the sage, it's Clary sage, is sage, one sage. sage. Yeah, you've got to be yep. mindful of the oreganos and all that. Any, which you, any herb, yeah, oregano, thyme, yeah, rosemary. Yeah, yeah, but really mm. good for the throat emotions mm. and times great for the solar plexus and the navel so oh, okay. um yes yeah, so i use a lot of that in my cooking mm. so i use fresh herbs but you know a lot you can you can also use mm. um a lot of the oils as well just check which ones mm. and check with us if you're not sure yeah, yeah. i've uh -huh. actually just put a drop of basil and rosemary i've got some slow cooking at home you wow just put, you just one of each and it's just like it just infuses because i because I killed my herbs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have herbs here where I am. On that note, as <laughs> Em's talking, I'm sure we're yeah. not seeing people on, but I'm pretty sure we're live. But that's good. We're going to keep going and hope that it's recording. I'm pretty sure it is yeah. recording. Excellent. Um, and we, we know people at work, so we're recording at this time. We, we post it so people can look at it at their own time. And we'll put a little catchphrase with it so people mm. know a little post. So now I'm going to talk about what I've started doing. Again, it's, I don't know what they call it. I call it swishing or swirling. Oil pulling. Oil, oil pulling, is yeah. it? Yeah. Thank you. That's yeah. the correct term. <laughs> and best time to do it is first thing in the morning before you put anything in your mouth. And I'm going to keep it at that so I don't get rude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's not even midday yet. <laughs> first thing in the morning, they say a tablespoon. I have everything. I'm very sensitive. Mm. I do a big teaspoon. Okay. And what you do, you pop the um, coconut oil mm -hmm. in your mouth. Then what I was told, and Em as well knows about this, or we're, we're talking about today, a drop of peppermint. What's in mm -hmm. our toothpaste, in our mouthwashes? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So pure peppermint. You could use mm -hmm. spearmint if you prefer that. Yeah. They're the ones we're showcasing today. Young Living Oils, contact us. They are awesome. Mm -hmm. Peppermint, spearmint. For mm -hmm. some reason, I've got Em holding the spearmint today mm -hmm. and I'm holding mm. the peppermint we've got a candle each I'm going to talk about that they have peppermint and spearmint spearmint peppermint, spearmint and peppermint and then I I get them to kiss so you only have to use a That's drop what you were two. doing I was kissing them I was aligning them that means that we're connected so it's good to do with husbands as well lovers right so all kids we want a connection with someone I want a connection I, I, I with M because we're together so mm. the universe has brought us together in consciousness we're all together by the way it's all consciousness yeah. right okay so um, in the morning if you want to remove toxins you've been unwell or you just want to um, I don't know you feel like you want to have a little bit of a um, what is it a detox or you have not you've had something or you're in some mm. type of um, aftermath I'll keep it at that um, Every morning, swoosh. Now, they say 30 minutes. Personally, you're lucky I can last five. I end up swall swallowing it, right? <laughs> Today, I brought Just it to the beach. As long you can. Yeah, I brought it to the pool with me, and then all of a sudden, it wasn't there anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, they say, I, I feel about, if you do 11 minutes, the awakening number, you're vibrating another level. So, 11 oh, to nice. 20 minutes, yeah? That's so, nice. you get up in the morning. Getting the mm. kids ready for school, doing whatever you're doing, and just swirl, swoosh, what do you call it? Oil pulling. Oil pulling Oil in pull. the mornings. A lot of people mm. do it. And but pop an essential oil mm. in there. Yeah. So you get more out of it and yeah. it will um, also help you vibrate more because the oils mm. vibrate with the earth. They're from the earth. That's why people like stones and like crystals and like, because they vibrate with the earth. Mm. So we've got clear quartz here. To, this mm. is to help vibrate more. 
this will bring it more, this will amplify it, it's like the yeah. battery, yeah? And just make sure you spit at the end if you can. Yes, I did it today. <laughs> and right. don't spit it down the drain because coconut oil yeah. it clogs, clogs the drain. Clogs the drain. Yeah, I know my plumber friends have told me that. So <laughs> where do you spit bin. it? It's the bin the or the bin. garden. Yeah. yeah. I usually do bin. Uh, yeah, I can yeah. do a garden here, but I live in a yeah, resort. Yeah. So so. And you're pulling all the toxins out, which is the yeah. idea that you then want to. So you want to give it to the earth. Up. And it's like mm. when people are doing Reiki and energy work, where, where's mm. it going? I keep, in prana, we use salt water buckets and bowls, and you pop it in there, then you get rid of it. That can go, that energy can go into the toilet. But if you're doing oil, we think that you don't want it to clog drains. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a good one. We need a lot of olive oil and put things down the drain, should we? <laughs> Oh, at least that stays liquid because all um, coconut oil goes oh, solid. Oh, good. So, so olive oil's okay. Probably not ideal. Eventually, yeah. it's probably clog up, but yeah. not yeah. as bad as I use it with water. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. Good to learn. Thanks, Ian. <laughs> See? Practical and lively. We're both. We're both. I don't want to go tourists in my energy as well, and I'm sure he's got a lot of water going on. So we're together. All right, so I'm putting my sunnies on because I get eye glare. So what we're going to do now... Um, do you want to tag? We've done that. I'm not sure why people aren't on board. I might have it on private. It's all right. I think I'll put it on private. I might have. Hello. We're Hello. back. So we're going to keep going, and yeah, that me, and then we're going to we're going to fix up the video so you guys can see it, right? So it's all good. Full moon, right? Everything goes wrong and goes right. So now <laughs> we're going to use the universal cards. Um, these are prophecy cards and my prophet energy or um, uh, old souls will connect with um, this energy so we're going to give you and us a message and oh I'll talk about mine M had awareness and I've got willingness what are we willing to do to achieve our goals that's what I get what are we willing to do to do more on the earth what are we willing to do to make our dreams come true what are we willing to do to help ourselves and others? How far we go? How far do we need to go? Sometimes we go too far. Mm. We need to pull back. Sometimes we need to take that risk, mm. that action. So willingness, we both are of service. So for mm. us, that's, I will say, I'm gonna speak for both of us. Mm -hmm. It's quite easy, but for me, it's more, I'm so eager and so willing. People love my vibration. I miss your energy. Well, mm. it has to work both ways, yes. especially if it's on a private level, right? Mm. Yeah, so that's that one. Can you hold that for me, Em? I'm going to hold M's because we are one of the other. One message for one is a message for the other. When people teach and they learn mm. and people get a bit upset, but remember there's always something going on. Mm. I like willingness because a lot of the time it's you should do this, you should do that. Yep. Are you willing? Yeah. Is should have, could have, right? Should have, could have, but are you yeah. willing? Yeah, and it's okay if you don't. And like it's just, are you willing? Not right now. It's um, that yeah. Matt, Matt, being a hypnotherapist, it's that metaphor, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Mm. And But then there's also timing. Sometimes I procrastinate mm. because I don't feel the time's right. But mm. then when I'm ready, I'm like, oh, that's right. and mm. it could be the other way. Sometimes you're more the other way, then you've got to go the other way. So it's mm. all it's all relative, right? So we're going to peel. Heel just came. It's yeah. showing us. <laughs> we both saw that, but it'll come out again if it needs to. Um, I'll pick the card first here the vibration and I got well, of course I did Christmas presents I, I love it. it so I got goddess doesn't that Ooh. look like M's in the colour she's in the yellow I'm in the blue but you know we're all we've got I've got bad pool here by the way we've got, we've got Queensland here <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, my, that's why I got my, my hair that's, tied back that's, that's my vanity <laughs> put my glasses back on so um, I, I received goddess this is for all of us and this and I'm going to read it so Em's having a look and she's connecting. Mm. She has a yellow um, aura around her head. Do you mind mm. if, I, if I flip it, babe? Yeah, of course. Yeah, and gold we use a lot, especially in hypnotherapy, I use it a lot to clear energy or to connect gold light, illuminating light, even in bra prana. A lot of people use white light. White light is like um, when you put light on at night and all the moths and all everything gets attracted. You can see it. Gold light's more translucent. Mm. So it's a it's a nicer vibration softer also mm -hmm. means abundance gold yeah mm. so allow and you've got the goddess and she's got one hand she's got her left hand over her right I'll get M to hold that for me mm. and I'm just want to see if I can do what she's doing all right so she's actually connecting her heart 
to the earth, the left to the right. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? And she's very in her power and she's beautiful and she's got lovely makeup on which Em can help you with. <laughs> um, allow the strength of your inner goddess to shine is the message. You have the power to change the situation. So if you're not sure what the situation is because we haven't thought of anything, go into a situation and just remember that you have the power to change it. Um, let the... Let the essence of your light, I haven't got my glasses on, so anyone yeah. <laughs> Let the essence of your light dance as you nurture your feminine strength. So, you know, unleash the goddess energy within you. This is what I'm moving into. I'm going to start seminars and um, gatherings on this, is what I'm moving into as I move um, possibly overseas. But really unleash the inner goddess, goddess mm. the inner, you know, whether you've married, not married, whether you've had kids, not had kids whether you're male or female we all have something within us men have got the god we've got the goddess mm. well they've got the goddess and we've got the god <laughs> whatever works right okay so that's a really good card now because um as we're moving into november it's a very the the, the, the house of scorpio and i'm pretty sure it's the house I have to remember that but anyway um, it's a very central sexual house it's it's related connected to money and other people's money so it's mm -hmm. how can we benefit like if I provide a service I'm paid but then I'm helping loads and loads of people how can we better our business how can we better mm -hmm. our life how can we make more abundance so we can give more I can't buy these beautiful oils unless I'm bringing income in we can't do mm -hmm. more so you know people yep. uh, really have an issue with all that but you know we can do more when we have more and there's a lot out there for us to reach out to okay so um that's the card, the card i picked find the inner goddess in you your sensual and sexual energy your energy your essence who you are do you vibrate um joy do you vibrate um uh, faith do you vibrate health and healing do you, which is also vibrating um something within you you know you, you're caring because mm. when you want people to be healthy you're a carer you mm. care yeah. you care for them mm. you you know you want them to be healthier you know what it's like and you want that to spread mm. right yep. okay so em's gonna go now and she's gonna em will have a little chat and then i'll jump in if she's okay with that as well i'll pick in the card yep so my fallout or em will pick a card there you go top one ah what did <laughs> it say <laughs> You can't make this stuff up, guys. Let me take. I love the Virgo energy. Yeah. They might go around, right? But they always get it right. That was the one that flashed up. We're the opposites of each other. Yep, Sam's going to read All that. Right. So as we heal, and as we heal, we release and allow the alignment of mind, body, and soul. Give this situation time. Have patience and faith that healing is occurring. It's funny. I was just talking about awareness being meaning patience. Yep. So you mm. know, the world needs healing. Um, mm. Full moon is about clearing, which is also healing. Um, and what does that mean for you? Like, what do you feel right now? Does that resonate with you? We've got a message for, for anyone or for you with your life and your family? It seems honouring where you're at. Yeah, nice. See, it's the first yeah. thing that comes to you. Yeah. If you think it too much, it just, whatever yeah. comes out. Yeah. 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 It says give the situation time. And I think often we, we just want everything, instant gratification, especially when we're talking about healing on a physical or emotional level, but we didn't get there overnight. It took <laughs> years for whatever is yeah. going on to happen. Do you know illnesses can take up to seven years, some of them, to actually manifest through our body? So we've got oh, we've got gosh, chances yes. to mm. co-create and change that. Mm. You know, and the thing is remember with healing or with health and wellness, we are that's who what we vibrate, holistic health wellness, mm. is um it it really comes from the mental and emotional first. You know, emotional, and a lot of it is emotional stress and, a, and um, mental stress and anxiety. Then it becomes a physical issue. Mm. You know, I had a really it's bad a manifestation. A manifest, Tra that's right. Trapped emotions. Yeah, I had a really bad headache the other day, but I know where it was coming from. It was coming from my neck, my clenching, and a few mm. other things, and I was upset because I had to um, postpone clients and affected my business. So it's okay, we're human. And then it came out and I actually felt like my head was going to explode. So I got the peppermint and the lavender. 
and I popped it on my temples, my third eye, on my points, my headache points, remember? Headache mm. point, left hand between the thumb and the index finger. Any ankle, or do the opposite mm. ankle, the right. Yeah. Okay, and then what M said, sorry M, mm. you know, you can mm. do that as Have well. Recharge. Yeah, all right. Mm. And um, I drank a lot of water, and I had a kinesiology and a bit of massage, and I was pretty much right. I know people that will go into migraines that can't get out of bed from that for five mm. days. All right, now heat can bring on headaches and migraines. So for you that are in our um, hemisphere, remember that. So mm. please contact us if you want to actually know how to purchase the oils because we can help you. Mm. And you will be um, with us. So whether you purchase them just as a retail or you want to join to purchase yourself or you want to make a little side business out of it and make some extra money, we can help you and you'll be with us. Yeah. Okay? So um, we're happy with that, yeah? Yes. So heal your life, heal mm. yourself, heal your soul, heal your life. Mm. Um, remember, let me have a read of it, see if I can give you guys a little bit more. We always give more than less. It's a sign. Have patience and faith that healing's occurring. Now, mm. remember, when clearing happens, Anything that happens, you've got to give it days. It's a gestation period. Mm. When I'm working with clients, I always say 24 hours, 72 hours, three weeks. Depends what I'm doing. Mm. Things have to align and integrate. Mm. So be patient. M could not mm. have put it better. Huh? Good on you. I love her eyes. I just look into her <laughs> eyes and I get swept away. Um, is you have to be, we have to be patient. We know mm. we have internet straight away. We have this straight away and everything. And look at love. And I believe... Mm. Being nearly 50 and hasn't, no, I haven't felt, I've had one big love in my life or two, so I'm ready for the second or third. I believe that um, we have to heal ourselves on a certain level to bring love in. And, you know, and if we are in love and have a husband, we have to, or partner or wife, we, that next bit, we have to be on board together. You have to kind of be in that same place energy. I also believe the world is lacking. I and M will agree if she agrees. Um, I believe the world is missing love. Mm. We're too, too busy being angry and mm. you know, and we all do it and we block and delete and we this and we that. Mm. And look, yeah. we're all, we all do it. No, 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 none of us is perfect. Mm. But my vibration is love and energy. Mm. That's my vibration. I'm not talking sexual, I'm talking just pure love. People, you know, believe, I have so many people saying, oh, but, you know, I love to be in love and I love and I love sex. Who doesn't? I'll be honest, mm. I'm going to talk to you very straight. But love, passion, mm. connection. Yeah. All right? Mm. So um, how do you feel about that, being married and having kids? What does that mean for you? You know, how do you vibrate it out to the world? Through your eyes. Through my eyes. I put her in a spot. <laughs> through her <laughs> eyes. Through and I could, her eyes. As you were talking, yeah. I was really, uh, I started connecting back to these cards. Yeah. And just, just talking with when, when you are in that, in a, a negative place and just sort of having that awareness, you know, you can always, you have the awareness of that and you can pull yourself out, but are you willing? Perfect. Are willing to go there for love? The spiritual <laughs> teacher over here. I know, she's taught me so much. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so very, you. I'm we, love, we, we, now. We, 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 we love each other. We love. Yeah, so look at that. Yeah. Em's going to put it back up. We're going to go into teaching mode here. Mm. You've got the awareness. It's great, mm. but where's the willingness? Mm. And remember, I always say this, we're walking around with our eyes open, but it doesn't mean we're awake. And we don't mm. just become awake because we go and do a three-day retreat or, you know, it's, it's an ongoing. We are mm. healing all the time. I talk about evolution because we're always evolving, mm. always. And we can see yeah. it in children. They get yeah. to twos and they get to school. Then they would see. But when adults, all we see is grey hairs and our memory goes and it's a pain in the ass, right? <laughs> so, you know, we have to remember we're always evolving. Mm. Even if we're evolving into the crone or the older woman or the older man, but we're still evolving. Mm. And my dad used to always say, you never stop learning, ever. Mm. Ever. All right. Knowledge is power. Oh, yeah. Emp empowerment, yeah. So I hope that helps. Um, remember, if you're into candles, light them just by tea lights. You don't have to expect, be, you know, going expensive candles unless you want to. But um, use oils. I 
pop them on the candle. Don't pop them on the actual whatever you call that. The wick. The wick. The wick. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's why I need it. Right. <laughs> um, although it'd be fine. Just be mindful when you light it to pop the. I don't know if I've got a lighter here, but it doesn't matter. Pop pop it out of your energy. It's just for safety. Um, I've got abundance going on in me because it's really good to um, uh, work with prosperity on a Wednesday and Thursday, but every day. Mm. Um, abundance oil, buy it. Abundance. It's so You don't even have to keep buying things <laughs> and manifesting too much. You just put that on. Just put that on. And I'm getting joy. Joy's coming. Oh. We're going to do joy next month. Mm. Joy, 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 you know, joy. Um, we were just listening to Dr. Wayne Dyer, one of his yep. meditations before. Yep, the I Am meditation. He yep. used to put joy... Yep. So the Young Living Joy yep. blend on yep. his heart before yep. going to bed every night. Yeah, and how beautiful is that? Like, and we work through night. Oh, Isn't that just yeah, it's got amazing? rose oil to have that yeah. vibrate. Joy, yeah. rose, put them mm. on so you don't wake up such in a bad mood. Mm. Remember, the five main um, emotions that we have to work with and heal and clear, and I talk about this all the time because it doesn't matter where we are, that's what they are. Where we're born, who we're born by, value system, it's fear, anxiety, anger, sadness, hurt, guilt. So when something happens and you go into that, find a feeling, replace it. Disattach from the emotion if it's not a loving one. Joy is awesome. Joy. We're lacking so much joy. Joy, 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 joy. You watch TV, you watch reality TV and it's all so heavy. You've got to go into joy. Mm. I'm watching a good romantic comedy. Yes. Yes. Yes, or oh. Sex in the City for us. <laughs> I'm about to watch Gone with the Wind with another friend that we both, that's how we met. Now. Pop an oil, this is what you can do in the shower or in the bath. Pop some salt, Epsom salts, a couple of yeah. drops of joy, oh, and throw it over yourself. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a mantra, you just say, I am joy. I bring joy, joy into my life. Mm. I intend joy. I am joy. I am. Yeah. So if we go over here to Dr. Dyer, Dwyer, mm. I said Dwyer, Dwayne. Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, um, I, I am, because mm. it connects with God. The vibration of God and I say goddess as well just to keep a male female but we're all part of that right mm. so I am mm. you know and joy you know why why do people say when they've got children even though it's hard work when the child gives them a smile and goes up and says mummy I love you oh. they're feeling <laughs> that look yeah you know, the cheeky grin. yeah and I know with me with my it. dad my dad used to look at me like I was the best thing since sliced bread oh. he just had so much admiration for me that keeps me going. Yeah. All right. So just pure love. Okay. Pure vibration love. Okay. So I hope you really enjoyed. I think we're going to keep it at that. Oh, I just want to talk about the swishing and swirling. Oh, we did that. I've got a few other things for information. We might do that at the next segment. I think we've yeah. done good. We've showcased two really good oils, um, peppermint and spearmint. Mm -hmm. um, you can add some lemon energy or lemon oils lemon is great for we know cleaning detoxing um lemon's good for immunity metabolism and lemon's really good for the brain mm. okay so contact us uh, we're happy to talk to you whoever you vibrate with um we will put our links i'll definitely put my and we'll put hers but you can contact one or the other whoever you want to um and if not oh, we just hope you enjoy we're just here to give, we, we, we've been told we need to do this. Yeah. We give our time to do this and we hope that you appreciate it and you get something out of it. I know you appreciate it. Yeah. Um, we appreciate you spending your time that's valuable watching this. Yeah. Thank you. And um, we hope you get some enlightening. Is Dr. Dwyer there? Yeah. <laughs> enlightening. <laughs> Do I call you? Hi, lady. Uh, uh, enlightening and practical tips. Yeah. Okay, so... Anything you happy with that, Em? Yeah. So we will see you for the new moon. I will be back in um, a few weeks and we'll work with the new moon energy there. We're kind of feeling that these videos are going to be connected maybe twice a month, maybe three times a month instead of weekly, but sometimes we might do weekly. See how we feel. We see how we feel. We vibrate with the earth and the light. So from Gemma and Emily, bye. Ciao for now. <laughs> Good luck, stay grounded, stay as calm as you can. Mm. And Patience. It's okay. All right? Mm. It, full moon's good, moon's <laughs> good. We're, the, we're living. Mm. Life is precious. Mm. Ciao mm. for now. Bye. Bye.